the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is your faithfulness, O Lord. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is good to those who wait for Him, to the soul that seeks Him. It is good that we should wait quietly. For the salvation of the Lord, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is your faithfulness, O Lord. Great is your faithfulness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today is the fourth Sunday of Easter. And this fourth Sunday we celebrate it as the Good Shepherd Sunday. And also Sunday dedicated to pray for vocations. Jesus is the Good Shepherd who came that we may have life and life in abundance. And he says, the sheep listens to him and follows him. On this Sunday, as we have come around this holy altar, to listen to the word of God, to listen to the, our shepherd. Let us examine how far I have listened to it, how far I have been faithful to the Lord. And also, this Sunday also reminds us to be good sheep following the voice of the shepherd and being closer to him. We have failed in many ways to be good sheep. We have wandered far away, but he is still with us. He is the one who leaves everything behind and comes in search of us. Let us be grateful to him to celebrate this great mystery, this holy Eucharist in a worthy manner. Let us be sorry for all our sins and ask him pardon and mercy. Let us celebrate this Eucharist in a worthy manner. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to the Lord, Lord our, God. our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. 
Lord, have mercy on us all. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us all. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy. we fondly remember our founder of Bishop, Bishop Symphorian, on his fifth death anniversary. We keep him in our prayers. And may the good Lord, the good shepherd, grant him eternal rest, the eternal bliss he desired for, he worked for. Almighty ever-living God, Lead us to a share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> God has made him both Lord and Christ. First reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verses 14, 36 to 41. Peter, standing with the eleven, 
lifted up his voice and addressed the multitude. Let all the house of Israel, therefore, know assuredly that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now, when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, Brethren, what shall we do? And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is to you and to your children and to all that are of far off, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him. And he testified with many other words and exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this crooked generation. So those who received his word were baptized, and there were added that day about 3,000 souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. D goes to D, and my soul finds no resting place but Him. He is my God, the yearnings of my heart is just can't still. And each rare moment that I felt His presence, I shall remember and forever cherish. Because to Thee, and at His feast I am a welcome guest. He That I felt his presence, I shall remember and forever cherish. The cause to thee, for he created me to be his own. He understands the joy and pain. Of life he too has known, and each rare moment that I felt his presence, I shall remember and forever cherish. The cause to Second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Peter, chapter 2, verses 20 to 25. How credit is it if when you do wrong and are beaten for it, you take it patiently? But if when you do right and suffer for it, you take it patiently? You have God's approval. For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin, no guile was found on his lips. When he was reviled, he did not revile in return. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but he trusted to him who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. 
By his wounds you have been healed, for you were straying like sheep, but have now returned to shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord Almighty, all you nations. Great is this to his face, merciful his love. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. St. John chapter 10, verses 1 to 10. Jesus said to the Jews, Truly, truly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs in by another way, that man is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the gatekeeper opens, the sheep hears his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. <clears throat> when he has brought out all his own, he goes before them, and the sheep follows him, for they know his voice. A stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of the stranger. This figure Jesus used with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So Jesus again said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not heed them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved, and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. This Sunday, the fourth Sunday of Easter, through the word of God, Jesus calls us to his fault. As a good shepherd, he is the way, and he knows the way, and he leads the way. The good shepherd is the way. I am the way, the truth, and life. And he reminds us, as his flock, the sheep faithful to the master must walk through this way. And he knows the way. He knows that from where he came and to where he shall return. And he has come to gather us together to take us back to the Father's fold, the kingdom of God, to that eternal life. And he leads us the way the shepherd calls out his sheep. He knows them personally. And the sheep listen to him. And the good shepherd goes ahead of all the flock. And the sheep follows him. In his truth, we have to walk. And in his light, we are illumined. And there is no darkness. There is nothing that can frighten us. And he lays down his life for us so that we have life in abundance. Also, Jesus is the good shepherd who knows his flock. And he listens to his flock. And he readily offers his life 
sacrifices his life for the stream. And when we have such good shepherd, the second part calls us to be good sheep. The sheep are not dumb animal. They know the shepherd. And they are ever ready to follow the shepherd. And they are closer to the shepherd. Faithful and loving. We all ought to be good sheep. Ready, ever ready to listen to the voice of our shepherd, good shepherd, Jesus. Ever ready to follow him as he calls us out. Without any questions, without any prejudice. But ever ready to follow him. And we must be filled with his life. Not just living, but living in abundance. The abundant life that the Good Shepherd has given us. By laying down his life on the cross. By sacrificing his life for us all. As a good sheep, faithful to the master, what we ought to do. That is what the first and second reading tells us. The first reading, filled with the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost, St. Peter concludes, you have crucified him, you have killed him. By listening to the verses of St. Peter, the people were cut to their heart. And they asked him what we are we supposed to do. What shall we do? And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Repent, believe, receive baptism. As good sheep, we need to repent. God has called us. He has chosen us. He loved us. But many times we have wandered away. We have gone away. We have murmured against him. We have not listened to him. We have not filled with his life. And we have not walked or worked with his life. We ought to repent. Then we have to believe. Believe in Jesus. That is the sure way to our eternal life. And by that, he will quench our thirst and he will fulfill us with heavenly blessings, heavenly food. We shall no more be thirsty or hungry, but he fulfills all our desires and needs. And be baptized. Baptism is new entry to new life. And we are new generation or new creation. New people with the life of Christ. And the second reading, St. Peter again tells us, we must follow the example of Jesus. We were punished earlier because of our sins, our wrongdoings. But that was not for any merit. It was a punishment. But now, as our good shepherd suffered for us, he laid down his life for us. We ought to follow his example. By taking our life for the forgiveness of our
beings. For the salvation of our fellow beings, we ought to suffer in this world. And we are ever ready to lay down our life for his, for the salvation of others. Billy Graham, in his television interview, when he was speaking about St. John Paul II, he commented about the life of St. John Paul II that here is the shepherd who followed the master, the good shepherd. He lived the shepherd's life. He died as a shepherd according to his master, the good shepherd. And Pope Francis calls us to be shepherd with the smell of the sheep. As we celebrate this Good Shepherd Sunday, let us be grateful for our vocation, the faith that we have received through the baptism, for the new life and the Holy Spirit who guides us, who governs us, who leads us. Let us be grateful for all the graces and blessings. Let us commend our life into the hands of God, of Jesus our Good Shepherd, that following his good example, we may be good sheep as well as good shepherds. We ought to be at the same time good shepherds, good leaders, guiding, directing our people to the way of salvation to the new life. We ought to be good sheep, listening to the voice of, the, of Jesus, our good shepherd, and ever readily following him. And the consolation, when we are faithful to our call, the consolation is at the last word of the first reading, there were ordered that day 3,000 souls. Day by day, the number was increased. And that is our consolation. Day by day, people are turned away from evil and turned away from the ways of this world to the new life, the life eternal, where he came that we may have life in abundance. May all of us be filled with the Abandon life of Jesus, our Good Shepherd, and follow him faithfully and lead others to the Good Shepherd. May the Lord bless all of us. They stand up and say, I believe in God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, Christ His only Son, Son, our Lord, Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, 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 born of, born of the, the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Through the example of the sheep and the shepherd, Jesus teaches, teaches us that we have to listen to his voice and follow him in order to be saved. Jesus does everything for his followers as a shepherd does for his sheep. Let us now place our petitions before the Lord and ask him to guide and protect us, saying, Lord, be our shepherd. Lord, be our shepherd. For the Pope, the bishops, the clergy, and the religious, that as shepherds of the flock of Christ, 
they may lead them on the path of salvation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord be, be our shepherd. For Christians all over the world, that the season of Easter may revitalize their Christian commitment and remain in the loving embrace of Jesus, the Good Shepherd. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord be, be our shepherd. shepherd. For all Catholics, that each member of the Catholic community may feel confident that Jesus knows them by name and responding to his call, they may feel safe and secure. We pray to the Lord. Lord, the Lord be, be our, our shepherd. shepherd. For the rest of humanity that do not believe in Jesus as the Savior of the world, that the Lord may show kindness to them and save them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord be, be our, our shepherd. shepherd. For all those suffering from coronavirus and all those who are taking care of them, Lord, liberate this world from the invisible enemy. Cure the sick and suffering. Watch over those who are ancients. Lavish your love and affection on those who are old and worn out. Keep all safe in your fold. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord be, be our, our shepherd. shepherd. For all of us present in this Eucharistic assembly and all those who are participating through mass media, that enlightened by the word of God, we may follow Jesus, our good shepherd, and reach our eternal home. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord be, be our, our shepherd. shepherd. Let us pray for our personal intentions. Seeking the intercession of our blessed mother, let us say together, Hail Mary, full, full of grace, grace, the Lord, Lord is with, with thee. You. Blessed are thou among women, women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God our Father, we thank you for the gift of your Son Jesus, who does not let his sheep to be scattered. His words that his people have not heeded, to those who have come before him and have been false teachers and courageous. Help us to be true to Jesus our shepherd and to be guarded and protected by him. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. All for you, Lord, all for you, everything I give to you. All for you, Lord, all for you, make it all your own. Take my hands and feet, Lord, take them all for you. They are instruments, Lord, put them to your use. To spread your love and give the good news. All for you, my God. All for you, Lord, all for you. Everything I give to you. All for you, Lord, all for you. Make it all your own. Take my joys and sorrows and the toil of day. Take my rest and leisure, all I do today. To serve my neighbors, share with them your joy. All for you, my God. All for you, Lord, all for you. Everything I give to you. 
all you, Lord, all for you. Make it all your own. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift up your hearts. We lift up your hearts. We lift up your in this time, ever all to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old, old order destroyed, the universe cast down is renewed, and the integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, all the will pass with joy, every land, every people excels in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, we lift up your name, we lift up your name. With the hearts full of praise, with the hearts full of praise, we exalt and our Lord our God. Hosanna in the highest. Holy, holy, holy is the Lamb of God. Holy, holy, holy is the Lamb of God. Lord, we lift up your name. Lord, we lift up your name. With the hearts full of praise, with the hearts full of praise, be exalted, O Lord our God, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously may holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and gave you thanks. He said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Dying, you destroy the death. Rising, you restore the love. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, come in glory. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your Son, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most dear spouse, with your blessed apostles, glorious martyrs, Saint John Mary Vianney, Saint Padre Pio, Saint John Paul II, Saint Mother Teresa and Rani Maria, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, our bishops, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and all who were pleasing to you as they are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said, Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, O oh Jesus Christ, take away our sins and have mercy on us all, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, O oh Jesus. Our Lord Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to us who receive it. You alone are 
Padaria, Joy Giver and the Palo Maya. You alone are my strength, my shame. To you alone, may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. You are my friend, and you are. My brother, even though you are my Lord, I love you more than any other, so much more than anything. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone, may my spirit you will now my heart's desire and I long to worship you. You will now my strength, my shield. To you will may my spirit You will now my heart. Desire and I long to worship you. As the deer pants for the waters of my soul, longs after you. You alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship you. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wombs, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from thee. From the malicious enemy, defend me. In, in the hour of my, my death, death call, call me, and bid me come unto thee, that with thy saints I may praise thee forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for vocations. Lord, Lord Jesus, Shepherd of souls, we thank and praise you for the gift of the Catholic Church. In a very special way, we place our Catholic youth in your hands, fill them with the desire of becoming your dedicated priests and nuns. Bless all the parents to be role models for their children through their prayerful living. May these youngsters be ever eager to proclaim your goodness to the nations as you commanded us to do. We make this prayer in your mighty name. Amen. The Good Shepherd has risen, who laid down his life for his sheep, and willingly died for his flock. Alleluia. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is being celebrated. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia.
Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Remember, O most, most gracious, gracious Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary that, that never was, was it known known that anyone, that anyone who, who fled, fled their protection, protection implored thy help, help saw thy intercession, was left unaided, inspired with this confidence, I fly, I fly unto, unto thee. thee. O Virgin, O Virgin, Mother, to thee, thee I come before thee I stand, sinful and, and sorrowful. O Mother, o Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Mary, you know peace. Pray, Pray for, for us. Lead me a channel of your peace. Where there is Satan, let me bring your love. Where there is injury, your pardon, Lord. And where's your true faith in you? Oh, Master, grant that I may never see So much to be consoled as to console To be understood as to understand To be loved as to love with all my soul Make me a channel of your peace. Where there is despair in life, let me bring home. Where there is darkness, only light. And where there is sadness, ever joy. Oh, Master, grant that I may never see. So much to be consoled as to console. To be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. Make me a channel of your peace. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned, in giving to each one that we receive. And in dying that we are born to eternal life. O oh, Master, grant that I may never see. So much to be consoled as to console. To be understood as to understand. To be loved as to love with all my soul. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.